Hello, I'm Edward Allen Bullard. I was born and raised in Turkey. For four, nine years, I'm living in Greece in Athens. My personal atelier is in Kalifea in Athens, and I'm doing some sculptures. I'm making sculptures and painting and some different kind of artistic works. Here is one of my paintings. It is immortalizing the immortal. It's the number two because it belongs to a series. So the series has 10 different pieces. So this is the second one. Its name is immortalizing the immortal because the page represents some immortal elements in some Eastern mythologies. It's true for the Chinese and the Japanese one. And in real nature, page is something very not trouble. It gets rotten very easily in a very close time. So when I was painting it, I really had big trouble because I couldn't make it stable. So there is an irony with its nature and its representation in mythologies. That's why I chose this element to show this irony. But the technical background of this painting is a bit different because I wanted to emphasize the effect of warmthness, the warmth, I mean the artificial, artificial light warmness. When we use different kinds of lamps with varying temperatures like 2700 Kelvin or 3000 Kelvin or 5000 Kelvin, the effect of the artificial light makes a big difference. The color, one particular color, becomes something else in different environments. Let's say this color, which is lit here in 2700 Kelvin degree, may look very different in, in an environment lit with 5000 Kelvin degree. So, in some paintings, in Western paintings, some of the artists paid attention to this, but they did this with the, with the physical light, daylight. They watch the sunlight at dusk or at dawn, and they 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 watched the the warmthness and the length of some colors because it is longer. It seems a bit reddish, scarlet. So they watch this, but in this painting, not the daylight, but artificial light was used used in order to. to um, make an emphasis to the effect of this artificial light. That was the main focus in this painting. So when you look at from a distance, you feel there is something warm in the painting. But if I had painted this painting under 5000 Kelvin degree, we wouldn't have seen this effect, this warmness. So that was the main point. I had an exhibition in Rome in a museum in Veneto Crocetti and I exhibited one of my classical realism works. For several years I stopped painting abstract expressionist ones and focused on classical realism artworks. So uh, I have just finished um, Oleanders and Evia series and in the future I'm going to make an exhibition for my sculptures which is a collection of prehistoric artworks. Thank you.